Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and we're looking at the new Asus Padphone Mini, which is a 7-inch tablet when you first look at it, but then if you take a look at the back, there's actually a phone embedded inside the back. When I say embedded, you can basically slide it in and slide it out. Uh, so the phone is actually where the processor is, the memory, the storage, all the good bits. Uh, the tablet dock is basically what happens when you want a larger screen and a bigger battery. So uh, if you like your phone for most activities and you don't want to have to sync your data between multiple devices, something like a pad phone can do that. And this is one of the first models to feature a 7-inch uh, display and a 4-inch phone. It has an Intel Atom uh, Clover Trail processor. It's uh, relatively, it's designed to be an inexpensive device, so when we're looking at the phone, let's pull that out here, it's a 4-inch phone with an 800 by 40 pixel display. Uh, it's lower resolution than a lot of modern smartphones, but um, it feels pretty good in the hand. It's definitely, it's a plastic case, it's got USB here on the side, uh, volume um, and power buttons, rear camera, front facing camera, and a, uh, what looks like a docking port here for the pad phone. Uh, feels pretty good, again, the screen resolution is not stellar but uh, one of the nice things about a phone that has a 4-inch or smaller display is you can actually do the whole thing one-handed, which makes doing this demo kind of nice. Um, let's take a quick look here. Settings, our phone, you can see it's running Android 4.3. And again, we can put it into this tablet dock just by sliding it in. This is easier to do with two hands, but I'm holding the camera with one hand. Once we do that, it'll automatically upscale everything to uh, this larger display, which has a uh, higher resolution and is 7 inches. It's a uh, 1280 by 800 pixel display and uh, has an extra battery, so you should be able to recharge your phone while it's docked to the Pad Phone Mini. Um, the tablet itself, or the tablet station itself has its own power, USB, and volume buttons. And despite the fact that it's got a little bit of a bump here in the back where the uh, the camera hangs out, or where the uh, phone hangs out, it feels pretty good. Um, you lose the ability to use a front-facing camera when it's docked, but you do still have the rear camera, so you can take pictures. You can basically run every single application. And if you have a data plan on your phone, you now have a data plan on your tablet. You don't need separate uh, plans, you don't need to tether, you don't need to do anything else. So that's a look at this. This is a, uh, like it's sort of a budget uh, device. It's a little bit smaller than the bigger pad phones and it'll have a lower price tag. Uh, pricing and availability for North America hasn't yet been announced. Uh, there's, uh, there's a possibility it might be available here, but right now there's a similar model with a slightly better specs that is available in Taiwan. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and a look at the uh, pad phone mini.